Hey guys, what's going on? It's PC Central 102 again, and uh, I just want to tell you guys about upgrading to Windows 10 with uh, computers older than the or Aurora R4 or other devices or computers. It was a pain in the ass to upgrade this thing from Windows 7 Ultimate to, to Windows 10 Pro because it kept freezing at a certain point of installation, and that started to really piss me off, and that's never good. Um, but what you gotta do is because Dell doesn't support the BIOS anymore for the R3 and the R2 and the R1 and below. Um, when every, right before the power button, you always wanna, you're gonna have to baby, baby watch this thing while it's upgrading. It took me about maybe a half an hour to an hour with the SSD, maybe different for other, for you, for you others. But, um, every time it's about to shut down and restart always have your hand by that power button because as soon as the screen goes black start shutting the computer down hold it down for 15 seconds or however long it takes to shut the computer down you gotta cold boot it each time it wants to restart that, that was about three times for me and it wanted to do that you gotta do it each time otherwise the installation is going to freeze and fuck up the installation and you don't want that because otherwise you gotta restart again. I had to go through this about five times to finally figure out what the problem was. Um, so always, should, like if you didn't hear me before, just keep your hand by the power button and hold down on it to shut the computer down and cold boot it each time it needs to restart. And you gotta do it fast once it once it starts to shut down because. Otherwise, you didn't react in time. It'll go. It'll start up a little. It'll restart and start up. Start back up a little bit, and then it'll shut down. And you're and you acted too late. You got to do it right away. Right as soon as you don't see a picture anymore. Like some timings for you guys may be different, but that's what I had to do, and I saw that a lot of other people had that problem, and now it's the fix to it. You always got to cold boot it whenever you do that, but that's for Windows 10. Um, I don't know if it's different for Windows 8 users, but I know for Windows 10, for a fact, that was that is what you got to do for especially these older systems. And for some of you who are wondering about the uh, um, the privacy issues with Windows 10, um, download this awesome program called Do Not Spy 10. It is an awesome program. It is free. And you can just you can just go to Google for it. Uh, you can get it from anywhere. But what it does is uh, it allows you to what is this? No, it allows you to disable everything that's disable or enable stuff that you don't want enabled, such as biometrics and stuff like that, and things that you may not want Microsoft knowing or digging into your privacy you may not want that and so this is the perfect program to disable that and it'll tell you exactly what it does over here if you disable it I mean I, this is an awesome app to disable what I don't want enabled it, it's great I don't think I could uh, have anything better to fix the privacy issues and make it nice and easy I think that's one of the reasons why some of us don't want to go up to Windows 10 is because of the torrent issues and the privacy issues with it. And you know what? It's I can deal with Microsoft deleting software from me that's illegal. I mean, it's not like I'm going to download anything illegal. But what I can't, I don't want to deal with is privacy issues and digging through all my digging through all my shit. So I download that program and hopefully you guys will get some good use out of it. Yeah, you guys certainly got good use out of it. So. Alright, peace out guys. Hopefully you uh, have some success with upgrading to Windows 10 if you haven't already. So, hope this helped. See ya.